Welcome to Sour Grapes Movie Recaps, today we are going to do a movie recap of the movie Death Note. Dot. So if you are ready let's go. In crime ridden Tokyo, a mysterious black notebook called Death Note falls from the sky, picked up by a regular college student Light Yagami, who dreams of becoming a cop. One night, a wanted criminal, Yusuke, is on the run from the police and takes a girl hostage. However, he suddenly drops dead from a heart attack after Light writes his name on the Death Note. Afterward, Light continues to kill criminals that escape punishment from the justice system by writing their names on the mysterious notebook. The sudden passing of the criminal starts getting coverage from the press because of their mysteriousness. Especially, all the criminals die from a heart attack despite having no history of illnesses that could have caused it. Suddenly, came the rise of Kira, light pseudonym and internet persona, where he's revealed to be the one behind the mysterious killings. While some think he's a savior for going after criminals, some think he's no better than a murderer, so the internet is full of mixed opinions about him. During a public broadcast, Light watches the news about a hostage situation, so he immediately turns to his death note to solve the problem. Because of this, the crowd watching all state their amazement to Kira, assuming that it was probably his doing. During school hours, Light lives life normally and even has a girlfriend, Shiori. At first, they're in a happy mood because Light recently passed the bar exam. But soon, the topic of Kira comes into play. Immediately, Light states his support for Kira's ways. But Shiori thinks that what Kira is doing is wrongful, especially when they should follow the law instead. However, a month ago, Light hacked into the police database. After discovering that many criminals were escaping punishment, he realized that he could no longer trust the law completely. After Seeing it, Light went out to see it for himself, so he went to a club, only to find the murderer who got away with it. Furthermore, he heard the murderer being proud of his crime. When they saw Light looking at them, they threatened to harm him too. After telling that story to Shiori, he asks whether she's still unsupportive of Kira, but it seems like she is. After the club incident a month ago, that's also when he came across the Death Note. The first few pages are filled with rules on how to use the Death Note, with the first one being that whoever's name is written on the notebook will die. At first, he thought it was fake, but after testing it out on a killer being shown in the news, Light realizes that he's come across a newfound power. Soon, Light encounters the murderer from the club, so he uses the death note again. The other rules of the notebook state that it won't take effect unless the writer has the person's face in their mind to avoid harming people with the same names. Aside from that, the person will die from a heart attack unless a different cause of death is written within 40 seconds. So Light watches as the murderer starts having a heart attack in front of him after writing down his name in the notebook. Despite his initial shock, he now understands the power of the Death Note. Later, he meets Ryuk, a god of death who dropped the Death Note by accident. However, he lets Light keep it with no consequences. Furthermore, Ryuk can only be seen by those who touch the Death Note. Four months later, the police are having difficulty solving the mysterious cases. So, the chief of police, Mr. Yagami, Light's dad, goes to see the commissioner. There, he meets the anonymous genius, L, who has cracked many unsolved cases around the world. However, they can only communicate with L through a laptop brought by his assistant Watari. When Watari opens the laptop, L starts explaining the start of his hypothesis, that the unnatural killings are caused by a singular person and not a group nor a virus. He even provides data charts to support his points. But Mr. Yagami finds it peculiar that one person can be responsible for the killings, especially for the ones that happen at the same time. So L says he can show them how Kira executes his plan. At that moment, Mr. Yagami gets appointed to head the investigation team for this case. Meanwhile, Light is overjoyed that people are worshipping him as Kira online. Furthermore, he even formed a bond with Ryuk, who often hangs out in his room, so Light gives him apples. A few moments later, a broadcast is apparently played internationally where a man named Lind L. Taylor introduces himself as L and delivers a message to Kira, saying that Kira is immature and that he'll be caught no matter what. Immediately, Light takes his death note and writes down Lind L. Taylor. Right away, the man in the broadcast starts suffering from a deadly heart attack. Afterward, the real L starts
starts talking in the broadcast to address Kira directly. It turns out that Lind L. Taylor is a convict on death row that he used as bait to see how Kira attacks his victims. Aside from that, they made Light believe that the broadcast was being played internationally, when in fact, it was only shown in Tokyo. So L has narrowed down his location. Despite the police wanting to capture him, Light believes he's a savior. In the police station, they get news that Lind L. Taylor has died. Despite L's success in his plan, Mr. Yagami thinks he's no better than Kira for sacrificing someone's life. The next day, Shiori visits Light, who's still debating him against siding with Kira. Meanwhile, the police are hard at work in trying to capture Kira. Just then, L has managed to crack another clue using the times of the death. By putting the data together, they find out that the schedule lines up with the college students, seeing that the killings don't happen when classes would be in session. At home, the entire family is excited when Mr. Yagami gets home, with everyone fond of their breadwinner. When Light asks whether he could join the team against Kira, Mr. Yagami forbids him from doing so. So Light just snoops on the case updates by hacking into the police database once more. After seeing that they found out about his schedule, Light manipulates the death note by having a criminal die every hour. Hence, L realizes that Kira can manipulate time and that their information is getting leaked. Later, Light notices that he is getting followed. So Ryuk confirms that it's been going since the day before. When Light asks Ryuk why he didn't tell him, the God of Death states that he's not on anyone's side. That night, Ryuk tells Light that he can see people's names and the years they'll live. When Light expresses his desire to have such power, Ryuk says that he'll have to give his lifespan for it. Hence, Light refuses. In one of the Death Note's rules, it states that the details of the preferred death should be written down in the next six minutes after writing the person's name. Later, the police received an update of three men that died in jail. But instead of a simple heart attack, their death has more layers because the victims wrote notes before dying. After the fact, L tells Mr. Yagami to lie to the press and tell them there was nothing more to their passing but heart attacks. But since Light has access to the police database, he sees that the police lied in their statement and that his plan worked. When Light sees a news coverage about a convict, Kichiro, he devises another plan. The next day, he takes the bus, and the man following him rides along. There, Light confronts the man and asks why he's being followed, but the stranger feigns innocence. In a series of unfortunate events, Kichiro gets on the same bus and takes the driver hostage. So Light writes down in his paper that he'll try to fight the criminal and shows it to Shiori. Because of this, the stranger tries to stop him because it's dangerous, but Light won't listen to him because he won't introduce himself. With no other choice, the man reveals his name, Ray, and that he's an FBI agent. Suddenly, Light drops the paper, which Kichiro notices. After Kichiro takes the paper and sees Light's supposed plan, he points the gun at him, but Light doesn't budge. Suddenly, Kichiro gains the ability to see Ryuk, and the God of Death realizes that the scrap of paper was from the Death Note. Out of fear, Kichiro uselessly wastes all his bullets against Ryuk. When it doesn't work, Kichiro gets off the bus, only to get hit by a car and die instantly. It turns out, Light has planned every single detail of the event, down to the time, the number of bullets, and how he sees Ryuk. Due to the situation, Shiori starts suffering from a panic attack, so Light takes her to the hospital. But beforehand, he tells Rei to come to him directly if he has any questions. In the police station, Mr. Yagami notices that the dead convict's notes form a code for L. By reading the top lines of the notes, Mr. Yagami pieces together the message, L, did you know? The god of death eats nothing but apples. Back at home, Light is already devising a plan to get rid of Rei and the other FBI agents under the Kira case. This surprises Ryuk realizing that Light is now subjected to killing people that aren't criminals. The next day, Ray was going to attend his wedding with Naomi, his fiancée, but due to duty calls, Ray ends up canceling last minute. With her suspicions suddenly rising, Naomi tails Ray to the train station. There, Ray comes across an envelope with a transceiver inside and a note telling him to wear it. A few steps away, Light is on the other train car keeping an eye on Ray and starts threatening him to comply. To prove that he's really Kira, he kills a criminal sitting beside Ray. So with no choice, the FBI agent follows his whims. First, Light asks about the other FBI agents. Therefore, Ray spills the beans about their operation. But due to the secrecy, Ray doesn't know the names and faces of the other agents, only their leader. So Light instructs Ray to write down their leader's name on the first paper in the envelope. The entire sheet is covered, so only a strip of paper is exposed for the name. Afterward, this triggers an email sent to Ray, where he receives the entire list of agents from the leader. 
dinner. When he sees the list, Light proceeds to make Ray write the rest of the names on the remaining papers. Once his plan finishes, he instructs Ray to return the envelope where he found it, and he sees a quick glimpse of Ryuk from the window. Ordering Ray to exit the train, Naomi immediately follows, but her fiancé starts suffering from a heart attack before she can even get close. Inside the car, Light watches as Ray dies, yet is surprised when he sees Naomi. When the train leaves the station, Light removes the papers from the envelope as the FBI agents start dying from heart attacks. Furthermore, he reveals that he planned the entire interaction to a T, down to Ray canceling his plans for the day to ride the train and how will die three seconds after getting off. Right away, the commissioner fills Mr. Yagami about the incident surrounding the FBI agents, but he had no prior knowledge of this. It turns out it was L's confidential plan. Because of the event, Mr. Yagami tells his team that Kira no longer just kills criminals. After stating that the people in his team can back out due to the increased danger of the case, their team gets narrowed down to six people after the majority has left. Despite their loss in numbers, L states that he and Watari will continue working with them. However, the remaining officers express their doubts about L because he has kept himself anonymous this entire time. So Mr. Yagami says they'll only work with L if he reveals himself. With no other choice, L tells Watari to bring them to his location, so they get to his place, where they find out that L is just a regular sweet obsessed guy with bags under his eyes. After introducing himself as L, the officers follow suit and telling him their names. However, L tells them off for giving their real names, reminding them that that's how Kira can kill his victims, so he tells everyone to use fake names. Furthermore, he gives them his own fake name, Ryuzaki. After the short introductions, the team starts working together. Meanwhile, Naomi conducts her own quest to track down Kira to avenge Ray's death and traces back from the bus incident to question the driver. Later, L watches the security footage of Ray's death and narrows down a list of suspects based on it, including Mr. Yagami's family. He makes them watch Ray's death and points out that Kira must have been on the train because Ray was pointing towards the train car while he was dying. Furthermore, L tells them that Naomi is a former FBI agent he used to work with, but disappeared after Ray's death. Afterward, L tells them they're going to bug their homes to watch the suspects. Despite his family being involved, Mr. Yagami agrees to L's terms to clear their name. Meanwhile, Naomi approaches Shiori to question her side of the story. In Light's room, a celebrity is shown on TV, Misa Amane, which Ryuk takes an interest in. While being interviewed by the press, Misa states her admiration for Kira. However, her manager forbids her to talk about it. When Misa uses a tissue to blow her nose, one of the staff picks it up from the trash when she leaves. Later, Shiori brings Naomi to light for questioning. Immediately, she gives him a fake name and starts asking him about Ray's death, pretending to write an article on it. However, she starts saying that Light is Kira. Still, Light feigns innocence, and Shiori even takes his side. Immediately, he tries writing Naomi's name on a piece of Death Note. However, Naomi is onto him and even tells Light that he won't be able to kill her because she gave him a fake name. Back home, Light realizes that someone went inside his room and immediately caught on to the bugging. Back with L's team, he states that Light fits all of Kira's characteristics. Meanwhile, Ryuk throws a tantrum because Light won't give him any apples. So he leaves the room to tell Ryuk that L is onto him and that the room is bugged, so Ryuk won't get any apples for a while. Still, Light is determined to keep his ruse and tries to find a blind spot. Days pass, but L states that Light's name can only be cleared if a recent death happens, and Light doesn't show suspicious behavior. Suddenly, Watari reports the death of convicts, which gives Mr. Yagami some relief. However, L doesn't want to let Light off the hook yet, knowing that Kira can manipulate the time of a convict's death, so he wants them to wait for a new crime. After a week, Light takes some chips into his room to study, still trying to maintain his ruse. Suddenly, a new crime has been reported, and the suspect dies, clearing Light's name. However, it turns out that Light is hiding a piece of Death Note paper inside the chip bag, alongside a small screen for the news, so L gets the cameras removed from their homes. The following day, Naomi tells tells L that she'll catch Kira by sacrificing her own life, so she takes Shiori hostage to bait Light into going to the museum. Right away, L watches the security footage in the museum. When Light gets to the museum, Naomi holds Shiori at gunpoint and forces him to confess if he wants to save Shiori. Immediately, Mr. Yagami calls for cops on the scene despite L's protest. Still, Light won't confess, so Naomi gives Light her real name so he can kill her. Just as Light takes out his pen, the police arrive. This distracts 
Naomi, so Shiori tries to run away, but she ends up dying when Naomi shoots her. When the police arrive, Naomi shoots herself from the guilt. Afterward, it turns out that Light has planned everything from the start once more, writing the exact details on the death note. When Ryuk asks him about Shiori, Light confesses that he caused her death as well. Because of this, he tries to use Shiori's death to get on the team. However, he doesn't need to plead because L reveals himself to him, asking him to join the investigation. But L takes out a chip bag, the exact same kind that Light used to hide his traces, indirectly warning Light that L is onto him. On the other hand, Misa is cornered by her stalker, but she escapes death when her attacker dies from a heart attack. Then, she sees a death note drop from the sky in front of her. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. And as always, stay blessed and may the force be with you.